I can't believe I'm saying it right now, bro. Like, I don't even want to get emotional right now. Natalie is fucking like, damn, you're the most perfect girl I've ever met. Yo, I'm really in love with Natalie. <sighs> Y'all, I'm here, bro. Can you come outside? Yo, she's coming, bro. She's coming. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you and I just want you to listen. You know, I don't want you to say anything and just hear me out and then you can talk and say your piece. Social media sensations, Young Easy and Natalie O'Dell have taken the internet by storm. I just, I just had to get over here. Come on. You just exposed in that. Oh, what you got your goodies out? I wasn't dressed. Damn. Um, yeah, Where so I just, want to, we're just going to my car right quick and give me your arm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not safe out here. Nice out here. I know. Look at all the flowers. Yeah. You good? Yeah, no, I'm good. I just, I just need to talk to you. Um, you know, I parked you in the red that. for you to risk it all, so. Oh, dang. Yeah. That's was risking it all. Yeah, let me get your door for you. That's love. You know I love you. <laughs> Thanks. Go ahead, get in. Uh, don't sell my goodies. I won't show you how good he's. Go ahead, get in. Uh, uh, Ooh. You ready? Yeah. Where are we going, girl? Uh, we're just coasting for now. You okay. know, just coasting, you know. I wish we weren't freaking in this quarantine anymore. We could go get some food or something. I know. Take your mask off. You were wrong. Oh, shoot. Sure. Take your mask oh, off. Oh, my God. My bad. Yeah, you're bad. Oh, we just got another book sale. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. We just got another book sale. Oh, um, so what was you up to? You know? I was just chilling. I was literally just, you know, we've been working so hard on everything in the book and stuff. I literally was just laying down watching Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I just, <sighs> there's been a lot of things on my mind and I feel like I honestly just, you know, get, need to get it off my chest. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, I need some gas. Damn, I ain't drove my car in a minute. Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, I'm just, you got me nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> Why? Like, just say, like, I don't know. I feel like this is from you showing up without saying anything. And then you just seem nervous and you're just like extra mellow and you're never mellow. But mm, I mean, <sighs> you got the corona. No. <laughs> No, I definitely wouldn't be around you with the, the virus, you know. But, you know, I haven't been really around anybody else. So you're safe with me. Okay. Like, really safe. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you didn't tell me what you were doing. Like, you didn't really, you just nothing. I wasn't doing anything. I'm telling you. I, I told you back when I did nothing. I did a little laundry. I was actually about to get my laundry out, um, as you called. Yeah. Um, just watch Netflix. It's, it's been feeling good. I've been in this, like, well, in a robe all day. In a robe all day, chilling. Okay, we just go park right here then. We can just chill, coast. You know, oh shit, I can't park right here. It's red zone. You gonna go park right here? You gonna be good? I mean, if we're gonna be in the car, right? Yeah. I think we should be good then. Should be good? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just nah. There's too many cars coming. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you good? Jesus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, no, I'm good. All over the place. I am, bro. I want to park somewhere like to where it's just like where it's safe and like you know I can just just fully give you my undivided attention. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, it's just like hunger. You hungry? Want to? Want me to get you something to eat? No, I'm not about to eat. How? Oh yeah, you just said that. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Take my seat off. <laughs> what's up? What you, you what's up? You got your robe on and stuff like that. Who was in the house with you? Got this silk on. This silk. I'm what? Who you got anything on under there? Yeah, I got something on under here. All right, just making sure. You know. Ah, you just got a book, book sale. sale. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, yo. That's lit. Um, but nah, I had to, I honestly had to drive over here because it's just like, I had to be, um, you know, 100%. It is a little hot. It is a little hot. Um, I wanted to just, uh, how was your day? It was good. Did I say that already? You've asked me multiple times, how was my day? What have I been doing? Right, um, how was your day? You seem stressed. I Seems am. like your day was stressful. Let's talk about that. What you stressing about? My day was real stressful. Okay, what happened? Well, start the day off. I woke up and it was just like, I was nervous. I was like, I felt like I was having anxiety. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know. I just, something told me that I needed to drive to you immediately and just tell you the truth of how I really feel. You know? How do you feel about what? How I feel about everything, how I feel my emotions towards like everything, you know, I feel like I've been holding back on a lot of things and not being truthful. And, you know, I feel like some things you kind of feel, you know, I got something in my hair. Yeah, it was sticking up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, you bored? Why are you, why are you just... Why? Wait, <laughs> no, I'm not bored. I'm obviously in tune. I'm like, okay, let's go um, on. Tuned in. Put your hand down. You make me nervous. Oh like, my god. So, what do you want to tell me? That's how. That's the vibe I'm getting. Oh my god. Hello. No, you overthinking it right, right now. You're right. You're right. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I've been honest. Like I haven't been honest with you, and I feel like you kind of haven't been honest with me, and we're just like holding back like honesty and how we really feel, you know. About what? Well, all right, I'm gonna I'm talk to you and I just want you to listen, you know? I don't want you to say anything and just hear me out and then you can talk and say your piece and tell me if I'm wrong or whatever, you know? You don't want me to say anything the whole time? I just want you to listen, you know? And, and that's, a, that's the thing about communication is just listening and hearing the message and not trying to respond just to, you know, because you're ready to say something, you know? Because you have an answer. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> what? What you looking at me like that for? Like what? Like you looking at my silk. That silk look good on you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So I just wanted to say from for a while now that, you know, Everything we've been through, you know, Easy X and Natalie to the birthday surprises to literally the trips, the surprise trips out of the country, how we, you know, treat each other like really good friends and, you know, the love is there. And I just feel like, you know, at this point, you know, it's obvious that it's more than just friends. You know, and uh, I feel like, you know, I feel like. What do you mean by hold that? Hold on, just let me talk. I'm a, Like I said, just listen to me. Just listen. Don't say anything, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Um, Like I'm saying, like, everything we've been through, through the ups, the downs, I feel like you have been the person that has. You know, that's just literally like, I don't want to get emotional, but, um, you know, because I'm a thug in these streets. But, uh, 
Nah, like, honestly, Natalie, like, you are so perfect. You're beyond perfect. You're a queen. You're a goddess. You're everything. You're perfect. Like, Natalie, like, I love you. And I feel like I can't hold back the emotions that I feel. And I know you love me, too. And I'm not just saying that you love me as a best friend and all the all the stuff that, you know, people have said about us. Of course, that's true when it came to the love that you have for me. But it's also true, like, the same way I feel. I know you feel in the same way. I know you feeling me. And I can't hold back the love that I have for you. Like, I'm in love with you. There's no sugarcoat nothing. Like, Wait. No, no, Natalie. <laughs> come on, just hear me, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just listen. I just want you to hear my message. And that's it. Like, I love you, love you. Like, no joke. Like, I'm in love with you. There's no playing around. Like, I'm not pranking you. This isn't no, all right, like, let's see. Just one question. I just, just one question. I'm sorry. Please. All right, go If ahead. you're not pranking me, why are you recording this? Because I just, I want you to be honest. I want you to be honest with yourself. I want you to be honest with everybody. I feel like you're so, I think you're holding on to what you're used to. You know what I'm saying? You're used to being straight. So you're thinking subconsciously, I know that you love me, but I feel like since you're so used to being with men and, you know, you, this is what you kind of grew up knowing, like, all right, boy and girl, this is something that you're kind of like, you know, just hiding and, you know, pushing under the rug. But I see it. You know, the Neezy gang sees it. They all see it. The feelings is there. The chemistry is there. Like, you're in love with me and, like, I don't want you to hide it anymore. I don't. And I know you love me. And it's okay. And, you know, we could get through this together if you feel like you're going to be judged or, you know, you're worried about your career or you're worried about anything. Like, I will be here. Whether, even if you, you know, you just tell me the truth. Like, just being 100 and you just don't even want to pursue this. But as long as you're honest with yourself, that's all that matters. That's what you need to do. Be honest and stop, like... I feel like you're lying to yourself. The love that we have for each other is is a is fucking unique. It's unbreakable. Like, I'm serious, Natalie. I'm serious. You know I'm serious. The way you look at me, I know you love me. And I'm not talking about, oh, this is my best friend. You so cute, bitch. Like, no, like you love me, like you holding back. And I've seen the way you looked at me. And you look at me. Why you look like you're about to cry? I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you look like you are. Natalie, I can't hold it back. I need you to be honest with me. I want, I want it. I just, it's been a long time. A long time. And I just, I can't. You know? Stop. You look so cute. Nah, I ain't trying to be cute. Nah, I'm trying to be daddy. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't don't let this these emotions fool you. This is me showing you signs of relief, getting this off my chest. There ain't no, oh, that's cute. None of that. I know you look at me more than y'all. That all oh, that's cute. I'm just saying, like. Uh, I hope I got everything off my chest. Um, I feel relieved. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. And, you know, me expressing how I feel towards you is just like, you mean everything to me. You mean the world to me. Like, I swear to God, Natalie, I'm so in love with you. I swear, bro. I swear, bro. Like, I love you. Like, for real. Oh my god, stop. You even make me cry. Don't cry. Like, stop. Why are you crying? Because, bro, like, you mean so much, bro. Like, I have never met somebody like you. Like, go some real shit. Like, you deserve the world. You deserve to be treated by somebody. Quit. 
that that's gonna love you. You know I'm gonna love you. You know it. I'm gonna love you so good. It's we already there. We're already there. Dude, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I need you to understand how I feel, and I need you to just really think about what I'm saying. And I promise you, I'm gonna be here every step of the way. Like, I promise you. You can be honest with me. You can be honest with the world. Be honest with yourself, bruh. You love me just as much as I love you. You know it. You know it. Stop fighting it. Fuck what everybody else thinks. I mean, I guess. Wait, just wait before you say anything. Like I said, listen to me. Just take it all in. Really think about what I'm saying. Just, just think. I said a lot, and it came from a place that I really didn't know where it was gonna go. So really think about what I said. Everything. Take it all in, please. When do you want me to say something? You really know it's, it's time. <sighs> just really think about it. Just, just hold on. Think. Okay? We can drive around a little bit. Just silence. You just hold that, okay? Okay. Just, 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 just